Hello everyone, did you guess it right? Welcome to the beautiful city of Bologna in Italy. I'm Sofia Del Prado and I'm joined by the best, my co-host, Denar Lucas. Buongiorno, Sofia, and I can't tell you how pumped up I am to be here for our newest adventure in EuroLeague Diaries powered by Ardu Prime. We always say it, to win on the court, you need a star and a magician like Milos Teodosic. And to win in the trading game, you need a trusted broker. Ardu Prime, a premium partner of the EuroLeague, has been helping clients to navigate the trading game since 1999. Episode three feels like it was just yesterday and I'm still buzzing from Athens, but don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from here from Italia. That's right, welcome to episode four. Tonight, we will be at the very popular Italian Derby where Virtus Segafredo Bologna will face EA7 Emporia Armani Milan in the round 34 of the Turkey Airlines EuroLeague regular season, the last one. Both teams have, have, have had an amazing season even though they didn't make it to the playoffs, but let's not forget that Virtus Segafredo Bologna is playing this year in EuroLeague because last year they won the Euro Cup. And Dane, I don't know if you know, but Bologna is known as the basketball city in Italy. Yeah, Virtus is back where they believe they belong, which is on Europe's biggest stage for the first of hopefully many years to come. Milano, they started the season slow, but they really put a comeback on and ended the season as one of the hottest teams in the league tonight. We end the regular season with the Italian Derby. And because it's just a special uh, journey, we have also a very special surprise for fans walking around this city, Dave. Yeah, we're not gonna say what it is because we don't want everybody hounding us, but hey, this right here, you'll see all about it as we go on in this episode. Let's, go. Let's keep exploring this city. Our first must-see stop on the tour is the Piazza Maggiore, and this is the center of the city and the life of the city here in this square. Rain or shine, the restaurants, the cafes, they're always full of people. Absolutely, it's one of the largest and most beautiful piazzas in Italy, and the architecture is just amazing. I can't believe how well preserved these buildings are. And just to think that they are centuries old, it's crazy. Yeah, you know what, we've got the Palazzo Comunale right here. This is the Basilica of San Petronio, two staples of the city here in Bologna. And I don't know about you, but I love fountains in the piazzas. And here we have the fountain of Neptune, that it adds such a nice tone to the atmosphere here. Yeah, you know what? If you come here to Bologna, you've got to stop by the square. And it's not just for tourists, all the locals around here too filling this city with vibrant life. And let's not forget about the two towers nearby because they are such an iconic symbol of the city of Bologna. Do you want to see them? I do, but I'm starving. We're in Italy. When can we eat? Oh my God, it's so early. Wait, it is. we okay. have a lot all of right, All right, hey, okay, okay. So here we are, just a few steps outside the Piazza Maggiore, and if you're a foodie like me, this is where exactly where you want to be, and like you, because this street is filled with restaurants, bars, the perfect place to be. Yeah, they, we can say that this is our spot, and I have to say that I love the authenticity of these tiny, narrow, crowded streets. Yeah, and this place is packed full of people, and we got a couple gifts to give away. So now our surprise is revealed because we have a couple of tickets, VIP tickets, to give away to some lucky fans walking around. All right, well, let's go find the perfect suitors let's for go. these VIP tickets. Excuse how are you? What's your name? Gianluca. Gianluca. Nice I'm Sofia. This is Dane. Nice are you from Italy? Yes, from Sicily. So let me ask you a little something. Do you like basketball? I do. And uh, do you have plans for tonight? I don't. Man. Can we make your plans for you? Can we make your night for you? Okay. All right, sure. so we've got a couple tickets right here. But Sofia, what are they? They are two VIP tickets for tonight's game, the Italian Derby. Yeah. So you got lucky. <laughs> Here you go. Do you want, do you want them? Just like that. Of course I want. Yes, just okay. Like <laughs> now you earn them. Oh, uh, look at that VIP. We might come see you in the VIP lounge and have a drink with you uh, later on. Tonight. Yeah, we're gonna we're cool, gonna find huh? you. So you gotta how be there. That, yeah. How does that sound? So you Thank got you two so tickets. Much, find somebody, a friend, yeah, a girlfriend, Thank whatever. You. Thank you guys. Yeah, you, you make my day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's what we do here at the Euroleague Diaries. Grazie a voi, ragazzi.
So here we are standing right in front of the two towers of this historic city and really what a sight it is to see. Yeah, they're really impressive. And you know what, Dane? They were built in the 12th century as part of the defensive walls of the city and that's why they're called Due Torri. Yeah, the Due Torri, there's two of them and one is 48 meters tall, the other one double the size, even more than double the size and really it is the structure that marks the center of the city. Yeah, it's basically like Imam Jaita going against uh, Kyle Hines, a better and Kyle Hines in the paint. Yeah, you know what? I know you're excited for the Italian Derby. I'm excited for the Italian Derby too. You can actually go all the way up these stairs, but that's a heck of a trek. Yeah, I've heard that it's only 490 steps. Yeah. Do you, uh, you want to work out? Yeah, well, I, I could definitely use a workout after the pasta and all the tortellini and everything like that. But you know what? Our cameraman, he's got 30 kilos of equipment and I don't think he can make the trek. I actually don't think I can make the trek either. <laughs> I'm making excuses. I believe in you. Well, if you are in Italy, you need to eat pasta, but you also can learn to cook it. And we are in a very special place. We are in Arduina's house, Casa de Arduina. We're gonna make some homemade pasta and try it, Dave. Yeah, you know, we've done a lot of stuff that I've been really excited about, but this on the EuroLeague Diaries is the most excited I've ever been with Arduino here. Grazie. Grazie for having us in your house. We're gonna make some tortellini today. She's gonna take us step by step through everything. First making the dough, then rolling it, then filling it, then cooking it. We're so excited, Arduina. Grazie. Reina. The, the queen, the queen of grazie. the tortellini, the queen of Bologna. Ecco, grazie. Okay, so let's go. Uh, you're, you're the boss. You're the jefa, you're the boss, so you start. Ecco, grazie. Un uovo ci va, un netto di farina ogni uovo. E poi con la forchetta si impasta, no? E rompete l'uovo che si amalga, no? Adesso non so se vi spiego bene, ecco. Look how gentle she is with it. I was like, I was like getting in the, with my fingers like an animal, like a mongol. Eh, ci va un po' di prosciutto, circa un netto, ecco, ma magro, eh, prosciutto magro. Eh, mortadella e un po' di prosciutto, ecco. E loro, sai, secondo la quantità. So Arduina is actually the mother of uh, a guy named Mauricio Ragazzi and he was a famous basketball player back in the 80s and 90s who played at Virtus Bologna, but of course, He's the second most famous in the family. She's the most famous in the area, in the neighborhood, in the city because of her exquisite tortellini. Cino viene tenero da grosso da una parte. Ecco, gira ma ecco. Vedi che è trasparente. It's transparent. I can see the outside. I can see the terrace. Always straight. So we love competition and uh, I want to do a competition with you guys to see who makes the best tortellini. And she's going to judge. So are you ready? So let's see. Let's go. Okay, All right, who is listening to Arduino the best? This one. This. This one's ten. Yeah, what's that? Hey, hey, hey. That's it's the... six on his finger. See, do not. Lailo, proprio tieni sul dito, vedi? I love her. I love her. Arduina. Arduina, thank you so much. Grazie mille. A pleasure. Grazie. Grazie. 
I, I was there when you dunked on Tavares in Madrid. <laughs> Longevity more than anything is lumber. Off to Hackett, Hackett to Baco, Baco with a nice Euro step. And Daniel Hackett, you see here, Baco with a nice move around Tavares. Who's the, who's the biggest high flyer in the, on the team? That's me, of course. That's you? Yeah, he, says, he says it's him, George says it's him. You just got it on a good day, you're, you're, you're way up above the class then, huh? <laughs> I feel you. Let's get a highlight tonight, then, huh? Let's see ya. <laughs> pumped up for the big game tonight? Yeah, it should be fun. We're pumped up. We've never been here before, so. It's nothing like coming into the home, the home crowd, the other stadium, and just quieting down the home crowd, right? So. <laughs> We've already played each other three times this year. Yeah. I mean, we all know each other, so. Um, yeah. It's a good one, yeah. I heard you got your dad over here. Yeah. You gonna ball out for him? Yeah, I feel you, man. What's it like playing your old team? 20 times or so I played them. So yeah, I, know. I guess I guess that happens, right? But it's always a little special, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, man, appreciate it. Good luck tonight. I'm sure you probably uh, played against my pops for a little bit. Joe R. Lucas? Of course. Yeah, man. Yeah. You remember all of the guys. I'm saying a lot to a lot of guys. It's your age. Right. <laughs> a lot of these kids, I played against their dad. <laughs> so I mean, men again and all of those guys there around. And the next generation yeah, the next taking generation. over, man. <laughs> Where did you get that shirt? I want one. That was a limited edition. It's Lim not available anymore. No, really? It's not available. No. All right. Anybody's game right now going into the second half. And I'll tell you what's anybody. Well, that's not anybody. It's the VIP it's time, VIP baby. Time. It's VIP. Let's go. So we are in halftime and we came to the VIP lounge and we found our guest. 
How, how's it going? Very well, guys. Really seriously, very well. I'm so happy. The first half was great. Here you are at halftime. A little champagne, a little food. Couldn't be better than that, right? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad way to start your first basketball game live in the stadium, huh? Totally. totally. Oh, man. Coming so, back for the next ones. Totally. Are you, for you guys. You, you no. said you really weren't a basketball fan coming into tonight. Has that changed a little bit? Of course. Of course. Because of the ticket, you know? <laughs> of course. And of course, you're fans of us. Oh, totally. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Gianluca, man. See you guys. Thank Enjoy. So Enjoy. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the night, Thank huh? You Thank you. And where'd you get that champagne? Over there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> He's going to set a stagger screen here, I think, for Lindbergh. Oh, what a play! Daniel Hackett off the back of Siobhan Shields. And look at the smile from Coach Messina. Hackett pulls the trigger on a three. Hackett! Pangos will hand off with Barron. Volkman in space. He's got a clean look at a three to make it interesting. Johannes Volkman. Let's go, Dan. Let's go, my man. Back in round five, Shigalia just trying to tack on. Some more points. But Coach Scariola will beat Coach Messina twice. They won back in round seven in November. What a game, what an end we had in Italian Derby. Virtus started a little bit rough, but they came back. We saw another team on the second half, and Incredible. they took the Italian Derby at home. Incredible game that we just had here. It might be round 34, the last round of the regular season. It felt like a playoff game in here. Daniel Hackett against his old team, 25 points in the win. What an end of the season for Virtudos Bologna. We're going to think of a better end for this game and for this regular season. What a game it was. What a day it was. We had an awesome time. Bologna, grazie. Grazie. Mille. Grazie. And hey, where do you think we're going for the playoffs? For the playoffs.